Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do all those little jobs and chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. And please, please, please subscribe. There's a little red button here someplace. So just push that. If you're returning, welcome back for another lesson. And get ready. We're about to begin. Hi, in today's lesson, I want to go over what we have been doing. Uh, we're in the middle of a uh, drywall demonstration and how to mud. And one of the knives that I have is this rounded one and this is I call this a bucket knife and what this is for is for pulling drywall mud out of the bucket and the reason I'm doing this is because I got an email the other day from my website myhandymanroc.com and they said what is, what is that round knife for that can't be for putting it on the drywall putting the mud on the drywall and they said no no so I'm gonna show you exactly what it's for so I'm going to pull this down here, show you the bucket. See how the mud is, goes up on the side of the bucket here because I've been pulling it out and filling my pan. Okay? So what this is, this conforms right to the side of the bucket. Like that. It conforms right to the side of the bucket. So then I can put the mud right in the pan. Watch this and it helps clean up the sides. And the other day, I showed you how to clean the inside of a mud bucket so you can get it ready to put the top on it and use it the next time, which could be the next day, which could be a couple of hours. But the bottom line is, keep the sides clean the chunky stuff doesn't go fall down into the mud and it keeps the edges nice and clean. So if I were to store this now and get this ready for uh, the next time I use it, which could be on my next job, I'm going to take my wet rag that I always carry with me so I can wipe my hands off or use it as a utility and I'm going to gently go around the edges like this get any big dry stuff off go down as far touch the mud and it's done now my bucket is ready for the next time so the knives are important I've got a four inch knife I've got a six inch knife I've got an eight inch knife I've got a ten inch knife I've got a twelve inch knife I've got two steel pans and on top of that, I got my bucket knife. Now, this works great on a five gallon bucket. It's not going to work on a, two, on a one gallon bucket for very small jobs, but this is really, really nice. So let's say you have a five gallon bucket and you're mixing up concrete. Use the bucket knife, pull some out and you can use it that way. It works out real nice. Well, if you got any other emails that you want to send me, please, please, please at uh, Chris at myhandymanroc.com and uh, you know, visit my website, myhandymanroc.com. I'll talk to you later. I'll see you in the next video.